Hey everybody, I'm Chris. I am Josh. Uh, I'm Mumbles. And I'm Rootsgarn, and I believe we're being attacked by the Sith Interdictor ship, and now we're all gonna be kidnapped. What? That's ridiculous. Why would you ever imagine that was about to happen? Actually, should we do another hang out on the ship and talk to people episode? No, let's get this fucking game over with. All right, God let's damn do it. it. <laughs> wow, that is not the treatment we expected to be giving the official Bioware I was RPG expecting classic Mumbles at this to stage go for of the game, that. was it? We were talking Look, about, I before just... the series began, we were talking about who we were going to romance, and I think we're still probably going to end up romancing go. Karth, but... John, we need to talk to her a bunch at some point here. Let's All go right, to Caribbean. I just wanna, I just wanna get off this damn ship. And just yeah, space. let's let's go to the Corbian. Fucking... I heard the Corbian is nice this time of year. It's like that's like the place Are that's like tropical there? islands and stuff, right? I think there might be. Oh, so that happens. Oh, uh -huh. fantastic. Yeah, so for those of you who are not watching the stream directly, I, the game all tapped for no reason. Yay! Middle of a cutscene. How we're much can we now. actually blame the game for all of its weird cuts and alt tabs, considering we're playing this on technology that was essentially Star Wars grade by the standards of the developers? <laughs> uh, I'm so glad I fucking missed a bulk of that planet. Take that, suckers! <laughs> yes, Mumbles, we all admire your tactical ability to not show up for the episodes we all hate. You were and there admire, on I Twitter, mean, and you were like, nah. I was <laughs> yeah, that was the best part! Still in bed. I was still in bed, and I had the choice between laying in bed and either going back what to sleep or watching wrestling, going on? or fucking doing Sith this shit. They must have been so I picked laying in bed watching wrestling. <laughs> And we're all like, God damn it! why didn't we think of that? recognize the ship. It's the Leviathan. Saw Karras. Okay, so there hasn't actually been a whole lot of build-up to this whole Saul Karath is Karth's mentor. You could get into more of it if, like, you explore uh, optional conversations with Karth, but... It's uh, up to this point. It's been a little bit underrepresented, and it's not quite the twist that it might have been for a lot of players. I think he's mentioned it to us. He's mentioned it to us at least once or twice, I suppose. But it's easy to lose that in the sea of Chiku Hadao Hadonga. Oh God. Admiral Karath taught me everything yeah, I know about this. He put the goddamn Oculus Rift back on, Karth. <laughs> Good on ya. Okay, I need to see any reality other than the one in which I'm getting kidnapped by my mentor on the worst ship in the galaxy. Oh, I, I guess he is explaining it to us. Yep. So... What do we want to, <laughs> to tell him to do? This is uh, your chance to avenge the deaths of your family. <laughs> yes. Yes. Is that dark side even? That is not the way of the Jedi. That is not the way of the Jedi, said the woman in the black robes and evil red visor. Who, spoilers, is gonna go dark side in like 10 minutes. Whoa, spoilers. <laughs> We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. It, yes, this whole thing's been leading up no rather plausibly, I might add, to Bastila turning dark side. Like, they've definitely the sown the seeds of that Maybe throughout Adam this Karras entire game, and that's one thing that I, I really appreciate, is that they kind of show how Bastila is, like, just a little bit too proud, and, like, a little bit too obsessed with being able to solve problems herself. It's a long shot. We've been kind of down on Bastila for being, like... Annoying. Self-righteous and annoying, but I think it actually works very well for her character, and it's obviously very intentional. Right. And to be, to be honest, sure, they could have made Bastila be a really cool, like, you know... Hey kids, what are you guys doing? Kind of character that y you actually appreciate and enjoy speaking with, and still made it so that her transition to the dark side was plausible. But I don't know if anyone's actually done that yet. 
except in some kind of esoteric expanded universe novel that I don't particularly need to hear about. Are, are you telling me that so, Anakin like that's, Skywalker's that's, fall to the dark side wasn't like an emotional roller coaster that felt totally like, believable? Like that's what it should have been. Oh, let's but not exactly, even yeah. start on that. Uh, okay, like, I, but no, I no, think seriously, what happens let's, let's here, bring that it's up. been forever since I played this segment because this season has gone on for a really long time, um, is if we pick someone else to rescue us, uh, we get to play as them for a while. Otherwise, we break out ourselves. How do we want to handle this? Let's let's pick pick another character because that's one of the coolest parts well, of the if game. We're actually, pick all right. Someone to save our skins. We better do it quick. Let's minute, let's pick T three. Marching up our let's way. play the Zolbar, robot. You're such a great character. <laughs> Candorous, just, obviously. I had a feeling you were gonna say that. Well, you could duh. give me a shot to delay my healing mods from kicking in. A small I incendiary grenade. His plan is to shoot like him. Was while making repairs to the ship. <laughs> yeah, Kanner is. All right, so you can best. shoot me and make it look like I'm dead. <laughs> okay. All your plans start this way, Kanner, yeah. but I'm listening. Kanner is basically <laughs> oh, he's so Vegeta. cool. Yeah, Vegeta. I love Vegeta. I'll go into the Ebon Hawk's armory and give myself that shot right now. <laughs> he talks about it like it's some kind of drug. Hold on. Or maybe he's saying, like, bridge. drug me to the point where I'm. All, it seems like I'm dead. I don't know. And then I'll blow myself up with an incendiary grenade. Doesn't that accomplish <laughs> it? You know, it just occurred to me that one of Seamus's main jobs on the show is to play tiebreaker in situations like that. I, I just want to take a moment to appreciate that. Looks like he was trying to rig the ship's engines to break free of our tractor beam when something exploded. Admiral Kalath wants us to question all the prisoners. It is weird how this game sort of sprung up, fully formed as a sort of proto Mass Effect. Dump the Mandalorian in the middle yeah. Of well, insofar as, like, you go from planet to planet and gather friends for some big endgame thing where all of your friends are suddenly super important. And the previous games were significantly more linear, to my recollection. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face. At Baldur's Gate, you could do side missions, but the main story quest was, yeah, rather right. linear. The main story was absolutely, uh, it was stringing you from location to location. Did anyone play Neverwinter Nights at all? I didn't. I did what play was going on with that it plot? Was, it was garbage. <laughs> Neverwinter Nights was a decent tool for making your own adventures, and the example, like the the example game, was the quality equivalent of like a placeholder picture you get in a picture frame. That's basically what I heard about it. Like the 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 story in Neverwinter Nights was basically an advertisement for, hey, we made a fucking RPG toolkit. Guys, you can make your like own some campaigns. of the NPCs were kind of nifty, but the actual campaign was. Uh, I heard that if you wanted it was, a job it was at fantasy gaming, you problem. make you make a like campaign in Neverwinter Nights or something like that. That's how much they like it. Yeah, right. I am. Uh, uh, by the way, I want to join the Sith. By uh, <laughs> we're devoted Sith to the right side. Of Kandris, right in front of Carson Bastila <laughs> for the right offer. That's such a yes. wishy-washy thing to say. No, no, we need. It's we like need you're not even saying like, right. yes, Away I'm tempted forever. by the power of the dark side. You're, you're just like, I, I need the right offer. I'm holding out. You're like, I'll be an agent of good and light unless somebody comes in with like the right bid. Mercenary. They offered me a the job. <laughs> we got an opening in our waste management department. Does it have medical benefits? Actually, yes. Okay. You mean? Oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know. Oh, speaking in a foreshadow. So here you get your, your get first to week. direct. Hint where the game says, like, hey, you are not necessarily who you think 
However, you are. Is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives. There you might really be some going kill us right on, now, dude. Like, just fucking kill us. Do I'm what this the cell cap did. No, that's not the murder setting. <laughs> but first, we'll have a try. We believe in the cell cat <laughs> model of <Dylan. laughs> We go back to Manon, and they put us on trial again. We get extra time you in. to their grand plan. You just, you just get walked in, and cell cats are like, all right, this is, and they're just like, guilty. <laughs> just law of averages. He has to have been guilty of at least one of these capital crimes. It is time to what are you talking about? Do that one. Without torturing you, okay. gain me your true cooperation. Your no, we gotta, we gotta be like valorous However, and like the dumb. But uh, well, what if he tortures Bastila? The interrogation. <laughs> oh no! Go no! Not <laughs> no, this is like uh, you're, you are definitely straight in this, in this game, right, guys? So Karth is your love interest. Yeah. Go ahead, torture him. I don't really like him anyway. <laughs> That's the best Evil one. dialogue options are ridiculous. My pain is meaningless. Tell him nothing. That's not even the evil dialogue option. That's the like. That's the. I don't want to be affected by this game because I'm too cool. So I'm going to like playground style say that your emotional torment doesn't I, affect me because I'm I just like too old. I like this little lore gag. Oh yeah, Alderaan. In, it's on in, Alderaan. Yeah, we're in uh, in episode four in Star Wars. The original uh, Leia says that they're on Dantooine, uh, and you get to say it's on Alderaan. <laughs> Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans and philosophers. There is no training academy there. You must think this is a game. I, I'm pretty sure he already knows all these answers, so it doesn't even matter. <laughs> He just wants to push the electrocution button. He really gets the opportunity. I mean, we install this fucking torture chamber. And nobody ever uses it. Such a waste. Destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard. Oh, the Jedi Academy's been destroyed. Whoa! No! That means that, like, one of the last three Yodas in the galaxy's dead. What? We need at least one to reproduce asexually so we can get Yoda. <laughs> How do Yodas reproduce? You don't want to know. You do not want to know. Do you take me for a fool? The Jedi are not assassins. They would never devise such a plan. Perhaps you need a The Jedi are not really assassins. They would never devise such a plan. Point Rewind to first Jedi plan. Just can you go kill a bunch of things for us? Listen, can you not hear him? Suffering. You can spare him further pain by simply answering my It's question. not assassination if you are not specifically contracted to kill you? the particular individual. Perhaps another lesson is in order. No. Oh, no. oh my I god. Perhaps no. another lesson is in order. Dude, it's just Rarely give it up. It's not worth it. Uh, give so a shit. Even. So I see I waste my time here. When Malak la 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 will leave you here. <laughs> my interrogation techniques are considered merciful. Malak will torture Karth and Bastable simultaneously. And he'll also punch your little robot thing. Oh no, not the robot. <laughs> and then he'll go find those two guys on the non who are behind the electricity screen and he'll kill them both and let you watch it over and over again. The worst of it by far. Saw one of them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. By war games and having the player character in a cell where you get tortured by guards, that happens a lot. So, blah, this blah, is kind blah. of a weird point, Sometimes it's easy to like, because the lore in Star Wars is kind of, it's not explicit, but it, it generally goes with, like, if you're not Force-sensitive, you, you can't fall to the dark side. Maybe Bastille's just really far up from but... Yeah. Maybe. 
You think that's a possibility? You'd like to consider the possibility <laughs> that Basil is very far up our own butt? I, I, I don't know, let's have a round table on that. We should have felt <laughs> Take that into consideration. <laughs> the fact that we didn't notice a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger. Casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. So the Academy got toasted. That's a pretty bold thing for this game, actually. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. Sadly, you can't actually, like, go and see the ruins, which would have made it feel more impactful. Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his yeah. way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report like, the results of... Like, it just yeah. says, like, oh, the you can't go to Dantooine anymore. It's like, uh, we, how this... We didn't really see where... Piece of vital information. I, uh... I have to confess How? something. There was a there was a moment. Just no, go ahead. Go ahead. When part of me was hoping that you would. This is like the only time you've talked in the past ten minutes or so. <laughs> go ahead. Yeah. No, I was just gonna compare it to how uh, they just sort of wiped the uh, the the um, what's it called the Senate out of the universe at the in the beginning of uh, right. New Hope. The interrogation was like it has that level of emotional impact. It's sort of like, oh yeah, we abolished yeah, it. They're the gone. Senate's They're gone. Now. gone. It used to torture us before Malik What's the Senate? Okay. Oh well. A disturbance in the force. The Admiral has sent his message. Even so, it, it does sort of attest to how Malik's setting coming. the story a couple thousand years before the prequels arrives. ever happened lets them get away with making bigger changes oh. to their world. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, yeah. Hello. Oh, girl, look at that body. <laughs> there's a there's a patient gear thing here, but I'm not sure we need it. He is built he's got exactly that, like, like John Cena. <laughs> he's got that 2000s thing going. So he's where the love child between you can see Ron a clear Roman seam. and John Cena. Yes. You can see a clear seam where his neck interacts with his torso. Right? Yeah. <laughs> That's just his tan line. Yeah. Don't be so judgmental. Yes, that's me looking at Candace's rippling torso. Oh God, that <laughs> tan line. Jeez. Hmm. This, this, <laughs> it's not like he's not like a person people want to see shirtless like me. It's just like, what's uh, wrong with that guy, on. right? Put, put clothes on. It's just too many muscles. Is there a function stuff. to like make it so you don't have to see the clothes that you're wearing? Like in Mass Effect, you can have the helmet always off option. The game came out in 2003, <laughs> so the answer is, what the fuck? Why would we ever do that? Oh, we found some droid items. I guess this is where you show Get up if... Uh, your HK or T3. Uh, you know, Mumbles, it's interesting that you ask that, because uh, there is a nude mod for the game, but it only affects the proto- the, like, the little astromech droid, so. Oh. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> what? How does that work? How do you make a nude astromech droid? I don't... Where am I going? Uh, well, basically it's exactly the same, but it's dongle is visible. Oh, that's explicit. Yeah, it, it got oh. the game censored in. Well, it didn't actually get the game censored. It's just censored sort of like a, but a veiled somebody wasn't reference happy about it on the to internet. Oblivion getting re-rated to M because you could, like, mod the game to remove the clothing, or there was a bug. Officially, it was re-rated because they didn't play the game enough to realize that it had more mature content in it, but officially, unofficially, yeah, it's it's probably because you could kind of see a nipple if you break the game. It's not even like, it's not even like a but new exactly course of how you without, expect like, the like ESRB it, to handle it. Like, it has, like, weird JPEG artifacting on it, like, or, like, black dots. Like, these weird... It, like, it, it sort of looks like when you've got, like, a black sticker on something that you buy, and then you rip the sticker off, but some of it, like, still adheres. Like, that's what it looks like. 
It looks like some of the paint on the potato bot Bethesda issue rubbed off. This is the worst description of a human breast since the 40-year-old virgin. I just want to put that out there. I didn't see that movie. What was the description of the human breast in it? The, the whole bag of sand thing it became a meme. Never mind. 2003 wrestling was not great. I'm looking up 2003 wrestling matches. Mostly Goldberg. What if, but it's what post WCW Goldberg. It? Well, that would be better. I've never seen him do a suplex though, so I DK. I don't know what movie's doing now, but it's not. It's not. It's sword fighting. Could be wrestling. <laughs> Just like it, so, I, I really want to know what went into the whole jump into the air and do a somersault to do a power attack thing, because it's very strange. Because it's not even particularly like... a Star Wars move. It definitely is not a Star Wars move, but it is a wrestling move. The more spins you put on something, the harder the impact. These force fields are great. Okay, they, so. You can cut through really them with swords. <laughs> so we're killing Rodians no. just because at this point. Just because. Yeah, it's something Candorous would do. Yes. Yeah. Is it?